Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about like primary school memories. Um, I did a video, well, a little, a couple of videos, like, a few weeks back, of my personal memories. Um, yeah, considering the amount of views it's got, it's actually done pretty well. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a one based on primary school memories. Take it away. I am a human. Haven't I suffered for too long? Still the reason for hope Keep on holding on I am a human Yes, I'm a child like her And if you look into my eyes For this specific video, for a couple of the like category fucking memory things um, I'm gonna have a picture For example, this first one is Roma the Robot is obviously this little fucker right by here. Um, yeah, basically, like mass and and all like this fucking robot thing will come out, and you push buttons on it, make it go to a different part of the room. Yeah, I mean, if you're lucky enough to actually use it, I mean, most people end up fucking around with it, and then you never actually got your go. So, to all those people that did that, fuck you. I wanted my go. This next one for this video is none other than the correct way to eat with a knife and fork. Now, I'll explain with this one a little bit more in depth. Uh, basically, uh, if you went to the same primary school as I did, you'll know exactly who I'm fucking talking about. During lunch, you'd have a fucking one teacher or whatever saying, Oh yeah, you, this is how you use a fork. You've got the fucking thing going bending over. You've got to have your finger by the end. You've got to hold a fucking knife like that and you've got to be like this. <laughs> fucking bastards. I know how to eat my food. I don't need to use a knife and a fucking fork. Well, especially not like that anyway. I bet you just fucking ram into it, you know what I mean? So anyway, that was the correct way to eat with a knife and fork. This next one goes out to all you party goers, you know, the school discos and all that sort of shit. You'd have people going in with jeans and, and uh, all that usual crap. And there was always that one fucking kid that would go up into the disco with this fucking thing t-shirt on. I know that's fucking stupid, you know, you always got that kid with a flame t-shirt. I mean, it was the fashion for those days. I don't know if it's the same to, like, these days. I haven't got a clue, but, uh, yeah, they were definitely a fashion back in my time. I'm saying that as if I'm old. <sighs> anyway, that's a flame t-shirt. Obviously, as I'm pointing up, you'll see it by there. Oh, I'm, I'm doing that, you won't see it on my hand. Um, but yeah, like I said, there was always that one kid that always wore that t-shirt. Um, usually like a fucking uh, popular kid. Or their mother, uh, mother or their father or whatever can actually afford those fucking t-shirts because I never wore one of them. Sad times, I know. But yeah, that was the one kid that always wore the flame t-shirt during school discos. You knew for a fact that you weren't going to actually do any work in uh, your lessons when uh, this bad boy came out. Yeah, basically every kid's dream during school was like basically praying and hoping that, you know, the TV on the trolley or whatever came out. You usually watch fucking shit about fucking whatever you're learning. For example, you know, job here could be like fucking planet Earth or some shit. But you never actually got to watch any decent fucking shit until like fucking like uh, Christmas time and Easter time and all that basically where you just watch a bunch of random fucking movies and all that so yeah those were good times there was always those two kids at lunchtime that would get married on the playground I mean yeah sure enough they're probably going out so they thought fuck it let's get married or the boy would propose to a girl with a fucking Harry Bow ring or something like that. Um, yeah, I never did that. I didn't particularly bother with many people in my school. Um, I still don't now, but if I actually talk to you or whatever, then you're welcome. But no, there was always those two kids I'll get married at lunchtime, thinking they're the, the newest couple on the fucking on the playground, so you better watch out for them on some shit. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Like I said, there was the two kids getting married at lunchtime. 
Talking about lunchtime in primary school, um, I know this isn't lunchtime, but it's like break time, obviously, where you go out for like fucking half hour, 20 minutes, or whatever, and uh, you know, drink your milk, you know, your carton of milk. Um, but yeah, uh, during uh, my primary school years, if you uh, misbehave, then you would miss a break time as a punishment. I mean, that's like really fucking scary for kids at that age. Like, holy shit, no, 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 I can't go out for fresh air, said no kid ever. But yeah, it was always a fun time missing fucking uh, break. You know, we'd always have to fucking like do some form of fucking work, you know. Or read a fucking book like, in the library or some bullshit, I don't know. There was always those fucking kids that would like, just misbehave just for the fucking hell of it, just to piss the teachers off. And then they got their own back by fucking getting their uh, big time taken away from them as punishment. Yeah, that was kids missing their big time due to punishment. Now during break and lunch, there's always uh, one time in a year, maybe a few more times, where there'll be a dog that manages to get onto the playground and the kids will basically go absolutely apeshit over it. I don't know if they're like, scared of dogs or they're just going apeshit because it's out of the normal for school you know there'll be a fucking playtime or whatever the kids are on the playground you know playing fucking hopscotch or fucking some bullshit or tag or that one where you're fucking like team up boys versus girls it's kind of like tag but once you tag them you know there's always fucking they gotta go on your team you always tend to go for the one that you have a crush on so there's a little bit of a memory by there. But yeah, there was always that fucking dog that comes onto the playground and yeah, it's just absolutely fucking crazy. Um But that was the best times of the fucking of like lunch and, and break and all that. It's just expecting to see a dog. Well not expecting to it, but expecting to come across a dog on a playground at some point in your fucking school life, I guess. But yeah, that was uh dog on a playground and kids go and absolutely ape shit. I don't know why. I literally have a load of memories in my fucking little list that had stuff to do with break or lunch. Yeah. There was always that one kid in school that always had the best fucking stuff in their lunch boxes. Like you'd always like have like apples and uh, and apple, I said apples already, apples and apples, you know, apples and oranges and fucking all that bullshit fucking crap. I like fucking ready sort of crisps. Uh, they're fucking disgusting. But then there was always that like, one kid that had like fucking chocolate bars and fucking cheese strings, you know, because they were the fucking thing of the past and all that fucking bullshit. And, uh, you know, baby bells, if you uh, don't remember them, then you're fucking too young to be watching this fucking video. Um, but yeah, there was always that kid that had all the awesome fucking food, like the awesome crisps and, and biscuits and yeah, sure enough they'd have like a fucking couple of slices of apple, but you know, that's fucking kids and we just didn't give a shit, we just wanted to eat what we wanted to eat. None of this, uh, ah, healthy fucking eating bullshit. But that was anyway, that was the kids of fucking, uh, in lunchtime that had the best food in the lunchboxes. Another in thing of the past for like primary school and all was basically trading cards. Now this could be like fucking Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, fucking uh, I don't fucking know all that fucking crap. I'm just naming the best ones, you know these things right here. Um, yeah, they were they were pretty fucking awesome. Um, I never really had much trading cards. I usually went for like fucking top trumps or or that sort of stuff. Um, but there was definitely a few kids in my primary school that definitely had um, trading cards and it was basically fucking Pokemon. Um, I mean I had a, the odd few. I never traded them, like I just kept them and ended up losing them. <laughs> but yeah, if, if you can get away with it now to have like trading cards as an adult then fucking go for it because they were the best things. Um, I know I said I didn't have many, I only had like the odd few, but you know, it's always fun to interact with people and like basically just trade shit with them without having to like worry about giving it back and all that crap. There was always that one fucking kid that got angry because no one would trade from fucking 
don't know, Pikachu for some fucking crap flappy bird or fucking shit, I don't know. I'm just making up random shit as I go along, because I'm not actually going to buy a script or anything, so that's why I stutter a lot. Um, but yeah, and there was always that one kid that always seemed to have the best fucking trading card, you know, the top fucking, the top one. Um, and they were always fucking dickheads about fucking trading that. They were like, oh, can I have that for so and so? No. Can I have that for so and so? No. Well, why are you fucking bringing it in then? Ah, oh, just to show people. There was always that one fucking kid, you know? Alright, that was uh, trading cards in primary school. Then there was always that most dreaded game to ever play in primary school. We were basically sat in a circle, you know, like a group of you. Um, and then there was that one person that would fucking go around, you know, duck, 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 and you were just there like, fuck's sake, just say goose. But yeah, next one is uh, duck, duck, goose. As I was saying, you'd be sat in a circle, you know, and there would be one person go duck, 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 duck. Two hours later. Duck, 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 duck. And uh, as soon as they get to you, they're just going to be a dick and just say goose, because you know you can't get up really fucking fast just to fucking catch them. And they always pinch you a spot and you're like this, duck, duck, duck. And then when you come across someone that you have a crush on, it's like, uh, duck, 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 duck. Then you're back around and then you just go around again just for the hell of it. And then it'll be like, getting back to your crush and you're like, goose! And you're like basically smack him in the back of the head. Or smack him in the back of the head, you know? But that was uh, duck, duck, goose. There was always that one kid, or maybe a few other kids, you know, that always have a, a crush on the teachers and then... Basically, I don't know if it was like that with every other school, but with my primary school, there was always, a, we had like fucking obviously the uh, children sitting on the floor, unless you fucking year 11, or year 11s, so like year 6s, that's fucked up there, <laughs> but yeah, unless you're year 6s and you sit on those fucking benches, you know, act as if you're royalty, um, but yeah, we had the fucking teachers on the side, you know, and uh, basically if fucking get a crush on a teacher, they will like fucking start crying or some bullshit, you know, just to try to get attention by one said teacher. Um, I will admit I did have a, a fair few crushes on uh, a couple of teachers. Um, yeah, it's uh, back, back then it was like, holy shit, she is the most stunning thing I've ever seen. And then you grow up and then you start thinking, Ugh. I didn't get a girlfriend. I don't know why I said that, but I do. But yeah, you'd be basically growing up and then you'll start doing your own thing, you know, start going out with more people. And then, I don't know if it's the same with guys, but some girls are like, oh yeah, oh guys are dicks and all that shit. They're not, it's just, you always keep on fucking uh, choosing the wrong types. Not our fault. But yeah, uh, there'll be like a few, uh, Yes, like I said, I have a crush on a teacher. Um, other than myself in primary school, I can't really remember many people having crushes on whether it's a teacher or if it's a fucking a sub or uh, a LSA or something along that line, you know. Um, but yeah, that was crushes on a teacher. There was always this little fucking stadium sandbox fucking thing in a playground, you know, especially the for kids that would like to play Beyblades. Um, obviously, if I need to explain what Beyblades are, then once again, you're too young to be watching this fucking video, so yeah. Um, basically, Beyblades, you know, it was an end thing of the uh, 2000s and like upwards, you know. Um, there would always be a group of kids, you know, with the awesome fucking Beyblades. And then you just got this shitty little fucking thing. But yeah, that was Beyblades. Uh, I'm gonna do a little uh, two in this one. Um, they don't relate to each other at all, but I wanna shorten this video up a little bit more. Um, so the first one is obviously Uranus, you know. <laughs> the joke about the planet's name, Uranus, you know, it's your, you know, your ass. I don't know how I'm doing all that shit, but there was always that fucking one kid that would laugh at that, <laughs> usually me. Um, but yeah, I don't know if, I, I heard somewhere that they were actually planning on changing the name or how it's pronounced. 
um, simply because of the joke. It's quite an old joke. Um, if you still laugh at it, then one, you either got a weird sense of humor, or two, you're pretty um, childish and immature. I myself don't particularly care which one, you know, I am a childish person um, when I want to be. Um, this next one, I didn't actually put down on my list, but I thought of it like a few days ago, well, a few, about a week ago, well. Um, and you would have these kids going around, you know, with a little fucking keychain, fucking Tamagotchis. These fucking things right here. I don't know. I used to have one. My animal then died about two days later for not fucking feeding it and all that shit. Um, I'd cry. I don't know why I'd cry, but I would. And then basically I just started again. And the same thing over and over and over again. Basically I keep on killing my fucking animal. I was an abusive kid to my Tamagotchi. But you'd obviously have those fucking other kids that would be like, Oh my god, I got a pet and all that shit. And like, really? What pet? A Tamagotchi pet. And you're like, okay, you're a weird child, but I don't know why I'm friends with you. I guess it's because we're both weird, because we both have Tamagotchis. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, you'd have like different coloured ones. You'd have a pink one for girls, you'd have a blue one for guys. Um, if you're really lucky, you'd have a gold one. And all that bullshit. But yeah, anyway, that was uh, Uranus joke. <laughs> Still gets me every time. And Tamagotchis. To end this uh, video off, uh, I'm gonna say a memory that I think that we all have of being a, a kid in primary school. Um, I definitely do because I still remember it fucking clearly. I'd still do it to this day if I could. Is putting PVA glue or whatever or any type of glue, if I know it's not super glue, onto your hands, letting it dry and then just fucking peeling the shit off as if you're peeling off your skin. Um, it's very addictive. Most of the time I tend to like put it on my hands rather than fucking actually gluing shit down to my pieces of paper or cardboard or fucking whatever. But we were all weird kids back then, you know. I don't know why we would have the obsession of putting fucking PVA glue or, or whatever onto our hands and just letting it dry and peeling it off. I guess it's, you just sat there like in fucking arts class or whatever. And you just like this. <laughs> About two minutes later, or five minutes later, or whatever. Hey, it's dry. <laughs> and then you sat there for fucking ten minutes picking at your fucking hand. I don't know, it's weird as shit. But anyway, guys, that was my um, primary school memories. I hope you enjoyed this bullshit fucking video. Um, as always, if you like the video, then give it a big ass like. Um, if you didn't like the video, then give it a big ass like. Um, always. Don't forget to comment and always don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Got to be true.